Hi, uh, I'm Shane, and I saw one call, the cool thing I saw at Dreamation 2011 was um, pork layered like rock strata. Hey, uh, you know who I am. And uh, one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was Anton LaVey on a space station. Hey, I'm Sam. <laughs> one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was a uh, game that people played in someone's game. Hi, my name is Matt Weber, and one cool thing I did at Dreamation was Roll Plus Int in Dungeon World. Just a minute. I'm Terry Romero at Dreamation, and the one cool thing that I've seen hasn't happened yet because it's going to be stage fight at midnight, and I'm going to kill them all. So I'm Ken Scott from Story Games. The one thing cool thing I saw at Dreamation was we were playing Mouse Guard in the hallways where people working at the hotel were walking back and forth looking at what we were doing. They stopped, asked us if this would be fun for their 18-year-old son, and actually sat down and made a character with us. <laughs> I am John Ferris, and the greatest thing I saw here was the uh, lesbian Juliet kicking the crap out of Romeo in Sean's One Night Game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brennan Taylor, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was the scariest Hasidic Jewish gangster godfather ever. Okay. Okay, my name is Lisa Paddle. Um, one awesome thing I saw was in uh, John's fake system called Cthulhu, where at the climax, one guy said, Why are we fighting? Let's unite your twisted monstrous family tree with my twisted monstrous family tree. And there was a love triangle to see which twisted monstrous family trees got united. I'm Crispin Taylor, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was a LARPing chainsaw sword. Uh, I'm, I'm Epidiah, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was about a half dozen idiots going out to eat at a diner at 5 in the morning. Yo. Hi, I'm Eric Cage Larson. This is Dreamation 2011. One cool thing I saw at Dreamation was playing Venetian Tragedy in a suite on the third floor, and out of nowhere, Jason Morningstar screams out, Abortion Wizard. Okay, so the one cool thing that I saw was uh, when John stopped Rapalus as uh, was playing uh, Tony Boucher, but he took on the identity of Jack Parsons and um, slept with Jack Parsons' widow and uh, uh, became her new husband. Who? And it was weird and twisted and really, really beautiful in a role-playing kind of way. Who are so, you? I'm Bill White. Oh, good, okay. Who are you? I'm Jason Lawrence Eddy. This year at Dreamation, I saw a whole bunch of books that have been in PDF form and Ashcan form, and they're finally in real print, and I was very excited. Uh, I'm Whit Davis, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was uh, in Venice having uh, my character uh, sleep with his sister and then um, uh, letting her take poison, and uh, basically everyone getting murdered and going insane. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put me on the spot, really? I'm totally going to put you on the spot. I am filming. All right, uh, one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was the fact that the indie game explosion seemed to go off basically well, despite whatever organizational hitches there were, you couldn't really tell it on the floor, and every table was packed, and people were waiting, and lines were alternatives to get into every game, and that was so awesome. Who are you? I'm Ralph Mazza. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tor Olivstrud, and one cool thing that I saw at Dreamation was a, a game of fiasco that I got to play, and it was a, a ton of fun. Uh, Jennifer Wong ran a, a wonderful game, facilitated a wonderful game, uh, and uh, it's totally worth checking out, so you should do that. Hey, my name's Don Corcoran. Uh, the cool thing is I saw that I got to actually run Whispering Vault for once in decades. Hi, I'm John, and one cool thing I did at Dreamation was rescue an entire race of people from slavery for my own selfish benefit. Hey, my name is Amber Vieskis, and uh, Fate is totally awesome, and Lady Blackbird is totally awesome, and the human contact is totally awesome, and a lot of other stuff is really awesome too, and Time and Temple is really awesome, and um, stuff. <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve Segetti, and the one cool thing I saw at Dreamation 2011 was one of my oldest gamer friends, the most traditional guy ever, playing D&D and stuff, and he sat down and played a, a traditional, a hippie indie game playtest, and rolled with the punch. Had a great time. It was awesome. Hi, I'm Mike. Uh, one cool thing I saw at Dreamation this year uh, was the trip to the dealer's room and the massive, massive line of chocolate that <laughs> what went into and around the dealer's room before I actually managed to see anything at any of the tables. 
Hi, my name is Connie, and the one cool thing I saw at Dream Nation 2011 was uh, stage fright. Hi, I'm Rachel Walton at Dream Nation, and one cool thing I saw at Dream Nation was um, and the Misfit Eve game was really fun, and there was some kind of crazy cute stuff that was happening. It was a little inappropriate for the situation, and uh, Rob Bull and Jeff Timmelman just took that, and they threw it right back into the game, and it, it was really fun. Uh, right now? Yeah, right now. Hi, my name is Daniel Linehan, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was a session of Apocalypse World, which I've never played before, which was amazing. Hi, my name is Vinny. One cool thing I saw at my convention was hardcore RPGA players playing in story games and really loving them. Go! Alright, my name is George, and one cool thing that I saw at Dreamation was uh, Doe, Pilgrim to the Flying Temple in an almost finished form, and it was so fun. Howdy, my name is Buddha, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was Pickets and Blind, a maniac cop eating far, far too many chalupas. And fiasco! <laughs> the one, uh, my name is Nicholas Marshall. The one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was this 2000. 2011. 2011. I'm in the future. It's awesome. Is was blaming zombies. I don't mean the gay type. Uh, I'm Serafina Ferrero, and the one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was getting to stab Edward from Twilight in the chest with a tree. <laughs> hey, I'm Dave Cleaver. One cool thing I saw at Dreamation was when the Baird Blade was unmasked in a game of fiasco. One cool thing. Oh, sorry, guys. Trying to say my name. Yeah, yeah. Tell okay. you uh, I'm Daniel Solis. Uh, one cool thing I saw at Gen Con was the entire board game room. I love every minute I spent there. A lot of great games to pick up. And oh yeah, uh, I played a pick a quick pickup game of Carcassonne, and it by accident it ended up being a tournament qualifier. <laughs> so I won. Yay! I'm gonna get beaten tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny. One thing, cool thing I saw at Jim Mason was stage fighting, which is going on right now. Okay, let me explain. It's, uh, uh, on the top of it, it was like, it was, uh, our order some chicharrones or something like that. And on the top of it, it's like fat back, and then beneath that, it's like pork rind, and beneath that, it's like bacon. Chicharron. And then below that, it's like pork chop. Pretty interesting. Okay, well, I am playing the, um, horses of, uh, Princess Gloriana. Okay, and this is Cyborg, right? This is Cyborg, the 1978 game from Excalibur Games. Which, would you say this is one of the worst games ever made? Well, yes, I would. Okay. There is a, there's a series, there's a, there's a four page rule book. Could you, is that oh, word? Four That's okay. okay. There's a four page rule book, and in this, the, the rules contradict themselves so thoroughly that <laughs> it is guaranteed if you know the secret, you can have the Princess player automatically win. Hey, that's a good start. It's a great start, but it's not just that. There's other contradictory rules, like, oh, it's hard, it's hard to, it's only four pages, and yet the layout of the magic chart. I'm loving it. Can you make any sense of that? No. Go ahead. Freeze frame people. You know, use your video. Figure out that chart for me. <laughs> I can't. So I had to I had to piece it together. I have rewritten it myself. I see. You should get a playable version. Oh, we have a playable oh, version. It's not, nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's playable. I haven't quite, you know, finished all the graphics on it yet, but I, you know, I've, I've, I've cleaned it up. I've explained things. I've made fun of the sillier rules. And yet, right. now technically, it now at least yeah. makes sense to the modern game. And this, what's the deal here? Is this like a comic book that came out? Oh, in? yeah, that's, that's on the back. Oh, okay. comic on the back of the cyborg. I love that. If you want to buy this, if you want to buy this, it's from Companion Games. They bought okay. out some um, uh, Excalibur, Excalibur Games some years ago. Okay, that's great. Um, and they, they're still selling If you want to buy it, it's actually online, and you can get, still get original copies oh, of Cyborg. cyborg. I, I would love to see this redone as a campy 70s satire thing. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, check out some of these illustrations. I mean, here... Look, look at this Imperial Guardsman here. Focus in on him. Look at this. Look at feather hat. Look at the stash. Look at the awesome stash. That guy's fantastic. Isn't that great? I want to be him. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Or maybe this guy. Yeah. yeah of course. Right. We're all good. Wow. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Joanna Scheringer from Where Am I? Dreamation 2011. And my one cool thing that I've seen so far, there's still another day to go, is uh, Daniel Solis' new dice game, which I don't remember the name of. But it's like Grom Crack or something. It's something like that. But uh, yeah, apparently it came to him in a dream, but it's really fun to play. I mean, I played it a few times uh, today, and it was awesome. I looked it up instantly, and it's really, really very neat. 
Hi, my name is Judd, and one of the things I saw at Dreamation was Epi talking about dragons pumping cars. <laughs> right on. I'm Joshua A.C. Newman, and the best thing that I saw here at Dreamation is 25 people showing up to stage fight each other. But I did this. Already? Go. No, crap. Uh, <laughs> hi, my name is David Berg, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation this year uh, was a temp who, despite serving an evil king, who was a fellow temp, for 20 years in the past, when his future self was called in to uh, weigh in on this problem and reprimand his fellow, he couldn't remember why he was there. Uh, he was that much of a slacker and his main hobby was punctuality. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael S. Miller, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation is dozens and dozens of office and gamers bringing their imagination, their fellowship to create a haven from the outside world. Plus, werewolf princesses rock. <laughs> Go! One cool thing I saw at Dreamation was validation of my My Little Pony friendship is magic habit. Who Thank are, you so much. Who are you? Uh, I'm James Mendez Hodes. Wait, no. No, no, no! <laughs> Go! Hi, my my name is Jen from Genesis, and the one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was all the awesome things I played with Fiasco, my playset, the Golden Panda. I'm Frank from Nonproductive, and uh, one cool thing I saw at Dreamation 2011 was an Ursamite uh, grabbing his crotch and screaming, your mama, your mama, your mama. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kat Miller, and one cool thing I saw at Dreamation was the birth of a son within being a fire spirit which did not annihilate the entire village but only the ones that were unworthy. Hi, I'm Todd. I'll show you a couple of cool things I saw at Dreamation. Look what time it is in New York. Now London. Tokyo. There's more. Come on. What? This is the coolest thing I saw at Dreamation. Oh, damn. This closet? Yeah. You can't store any objects in there. But there's stuff in there, Todd. Look, it must be kept clear at all times.